It is an art. Choosing gladiators. They're usually prisoners of war. I claim this city for the glory of Rome. You have something in you. Rage. Never let it go. It will carry you to greatness. Mr. Washington, how are you doing, sir? Excellent. Glad to see you again. I just got to see you in New York and uh, got to see the whole family actually in New York uh, for for a piano lesson. But um, first, I want to start off. The, the film explores the idea of Rome uh, as both a dream and a nightmare. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel there's parallels between the dream of Rome and the dream of America? Especially when thinking about like figures uh, who strive for power like at any cost? I don't believe we've started feeding people to lions. I don't know if we're that far away from it, but I don't believe we've started to do that. One thing is for sure, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Another thing for sure is history repeats itself. We're in that an interesting time. Uh, our film comes out at a very interesting time. I'm excited about the response to this young man, Paul, who I think did a brilliant job. Yes. And uh, I'm excited for him, for his future. Sky's the limit. Anytime Ridley calls me, I'm ready and willing to work with him. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the film, the opening scene of the film is amazing. And it just, this film just gets better. Like, as, as it goes along, it just gets better and better. I really, I really loved it. Uh, in the film, you say, you, you say a line, uh, your character, um, Macrinus says the line, uh, I was owned by an emperor, now I control the empire. How did it feel embodying that line, not only as Macrinus, uh, complex and ruthless character, but as a black man and and with the history of America, saying that that line, like how does how do you uh, parallel those two those two feelings as character and human? Well, there are no black men that control an empire yeah. uh, in America, maybe I, I, or or anywhere. I don't know. I couldn't believe that slavery still exists. We're, we're about to do Othello on Broadway. So of course, I, he talks about, and, and, and the director, Kenny Leon, wanted to be in the now or the near future. I'm like, well, he talks about slavery and being sold to the insolent foe and all of that. Slavery still exists in uh, Mauritania, I believe it's called Mauritania. I was like, what? In this day and time? History repeats itself. Yeah. You don't learn from it, we'll pay for it. In Rome, in Africa, and in America. There is plenty of pain waiting for you in the next life. I don't know why you are so greedy for it in this one. <laughs> your Majesties. This is your gladiator. It is. I have the trust of the emperors. It will clear my path to the throne. You will be my instrument. I will never be your instrument in this life or the next. Lucius, take your father's strength. His name was Maximus. How do you think uh, Robert McCall as a, as an equalizer would fare in this arena? Like if, <laughs> <laughs> if we put all this, we do this watch thing and like. Uh, you think he will? Oh, okay. He will. Can I bring my gear? I can bring the watches. And the, <laughs> uh, how, how about guns? Can I bring that? Ah, uh, you have oh, to. You can't have it, 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 it. Come on now. I, I, well, I guess that's Robert McCall thing. So I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine AK forty sevens in Rome? <laughs> mm. I couldn't imagine AK forty sevens in America, but that's where we are. I don't know if you know. Like I've, I've been like a friend of. Family for a long time, been hanging with JD. Uh, oh, is that right? 
Uh, I went to CC, CEE with JD, and they uh, one time gave me your. Wait a minute, you went to the center? No, my friend Galen and Rob, Galen Reeves and, and Robert Locke. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. they were my roommates. So they went to, oh, they, okay. They went, okay. With, they went, and one time, uh, JD gave me some tickets, your court side tickets for a Lakers game back in the Lamar Odom days. Okay. I know you're a big LeBron fan and everything else. And I wonder when you see the season opener and you see LeBron and play with Bronny, and then I go to New York and see you at the piano lesson where you got Malcolm, your son, uh, directing, you got JD and Olivia. Uh, acting and you got Katya uh, uh, producing it. Um, is there any feeling that you could like parallel yourself to, to being able to play in the game, to seeing Bronny and LeBron, and you being able to do that with with your family? I mean, Pauletta was there also, but, right. but just is, like, is there any parallel? Well, Malcolm ain't hired me. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, he got I got to get hired, and I'm in a different situation. You know, he, 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 he hasn't, he hasn't hired me, but, um, you said, say that again, though. You said, is there a situation where I, see Do you feel, I mean, can you relate to LeBron's feel? Cause I mean, I was, LeBron was, was super I, well, I'm just, I'm happy for him. I mean, you know that I can only imagine what that moment was. Now for me, it was an interesting moment on the set of the piano lesson because I was sitting there and Malcolm was doing his thing and everybody in the, the, the movie's going. And I was like, there's nothing for me to do here. I, I went home. I started going home. I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm like, I, I kind of was in the way, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So what's Robert doing? Robert, he's he living in Belize right now. Really? Yeah, he's living in Belize. Got a child in Belize. He's loving it. He comes back and forth to L.A. every now and then. But Is his brother still, uh, was he like the pr a principal or something, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah, he's still a, he's still a principal. Anthony, yeah, he's the principal yeah. at. Uh, I don't know if he's at CE, but I know he's. Uh, I know that's what he's doing, like school administration stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. Also, Lucius like remembers like this line, and I couldn't write it down while I was watching the film, but it's a line that like makes everybody know that he's in the lineage of uh, of Maximus. And I wonder from all your great performances on stage, whether it's like uh, Oedipus, the the. I know you said you watched Oedipus, the King James Earl Jones doing it. He said, fate rules the lives of men. But is there any live line that you've seen on, on stage or on screen or that you've said that just sticks with you, like that line that, that Lucia says in uh, Gladiator uh, throughout the film that? What was the line he said? I could not. <laughs> I, 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 I was trying to remember it after the film, but I was like, in it. Man, you got to watch the movie. You can't be writing stuff down. I watch it live, but you know, I'm trying to like take notes and get, get prepared for the interview, but I was like, I, I couldn't remember. It was too dark in the theater like, right. to get it right down. But he says a line that makes everybody know that he's, it's something strange that, that he's connected, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um. Well, you mean lines that I've said? Yes. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, I got a couple in my mind, but I'm not going to say them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to curse on camera. Well, I mean, this was this was a this was a great movie. I, I love when sequels are like um, when when sequels just step up and like make you like because you you always go to like I don't know how it's going to be, and this sequel like it was such a gift. And I know that there was like people like doubting like, oh, why is this? That? It, you were such the perfect character to come into this this story and continue it on, and always appreciate what you do on the screen. Always appreciate how how uh, you you shine as as a man, and uh, and I always appreciate your time, man. So so thank you, uh, thank you, Alan, thank you, Washington family, and, and, and <laughs> thank we'll you, keep brother. Cheering for you. Oh, my, my mom and my pops over there, they want to say hello. Well, all right, go put them on, put them on, put them on, bring them over. Uh, I'm going to turn the screen around. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, well, y'all, wait, wait, come closer. Y'all way over there. Come on, come on. I can't see you. Sitting there proud, talking about proud papa <laughs> and mama. That's your baby, huh? Yes. That's your baby. Well, God bless you. You sounds God like you did a you. good job. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. How are you, young man? I'm fine. Bless. <laughs> bless beyond measure. Yes. Thanks for all you do. You know, keep keeping the 
history of everything alive. Like yourselves, and I can know it just seeing you, like yourself. Thank you. God bless I just you. want to be in that number. <laughs> every day, every step. Hallelujah. So you guys sick. take care. I need that black tree TV. I need that black tree TV. I need that black tree TV. Black tree TV.